Hey guys, welcome to my paintings. I'm Veronica and today I will be repainting this old pour with similar colors, but I will be making flip cup and I hope it will create some nice uh, cloudy shapes and it will create some lovely sky. So I want to show you what I did. I mixed my own pouring medium from PVA glue and water. I use 60% of glue and 40% of water and then I mix it together and then I mix half part of pouring medium and half part of acrylic colors. This is how the mixture looks. If you can see that. Yep. And this time I will be using this white color which is called just white. Also this dark blue, which turns very dark when it gets dry. Dark blue. Then this lovely turquoise blue. Also this blue, light blue, baby blue. It's called light sky blue. And then I use this Cerulean blue and I think that's it. That's what that's all I used. So I also put two drops of this kind of silicone in each color in all of them. And that's it. That's all you need to know. I will be pouring my colors here in this cup. Um, firstly my white. Then my dark blue, not all of it, then my turquoise, all of it, then this lighter blue. I love shades of blue, it's my favorite color. Oh, mosquito! Oh, silly mosquito. Where is it? Sorry, it's very hot, we've got loads of mosquitoes in here. It was a very hot day. Then this dark light pale. Turquoise. Oh yes, I think I forgot to show you this color. Sorry. It's, it's this one. It's called pale turquoise blue. Yep. And then I will put my dark blue back here. All over my colors. Also my light sky blue. All of it. Then my white. And at the top there will be my dark blue. It looks like this now. And let's make a flip cup. Oops, sorry. There was fast. It's quite a big canvas. It's 50 centimeters times 50 centimeters. So it was a little bit tricky. And let's start spreading it. Everywhere, plop and pop. Oh, look at these cells already showing their beauty. I love these colors. Mm. 
and I want to spread it all around my canvas. Let's start moving it. I hope you can see that. Yep. Can you see that? Yep. I can't wait to use my heat gun. It looks like a night sky with little stars. I will show you some details. When this gets dry, it will be much, much darker, so I might try to work with it a little bit further and create some stars and galaxy shapes. Hey guys, welcome back after a week. My acrylic pour is finally dry and look at that. Does it remind you something or not? Well, what I see is a beautiful sky with loads of stars. And my heart is beating so fast right now because I'm so excited about this painting. I know you probably can't see anything right now, but I can see the finished painting and I feel so excited because I can see a beautiful moon right here and falling star, lots of other stars and some 3D effect and beautiful night forest. That's what I see. Do you ever feel so excited before you start painting? Do you feel like when you're at work, you can't wait to come home and to start painting? I feel like I feel so much excitement in my heart and I hope you feel the same when you make your own beautiful art. So I really can't wait to start painting. Firstly, I will make a little bit more stars with this type of brush. It's old brush, but it's a good one. It's very easy to make stars on the sky. You just need to put your brush well in the water and then tip it in your white color like that white acryl color and then easy peasy you just do this can you see what it's doing on your beautiful sky So now it's time to start painting my amazing full moon and because it will be a shiny night I want my moon to shine all around and for that I will be using this kind of sponge. It's an old one but I hope it will be working and I will make some nice shine around my moon. So firstly, I'm going to dip it in water just a little bit and then in my white, back in water and then I'm going to do this because I want only a tiny bit of that white shine. And now I can start... Oh, I've got too much in there. No, I don't need that much. I'm going to start around my knee. Like that. Now, use this tissue again and just blend it like that. It should be alright. 
it will look like a little bit cloudy effect it's perfect you might be able to see my moon already if you have a good imagination and now it's time to give it the nice round shape i'm gonna try to show you a better detail of my full moon i hope i won't have my head in a way if so i'm sorry but it's a little bit hard for me to paint when i'm left-handed i'm always in a way but i try my best to show you everything without my head Let's start with white and I can paint nice round white circle. Look at that. Now the great thing about acrylic pouring is it already created a moonstone structure. So you don't have to worry about painting the inside of your moon. It's almost finished. I will just use a little bit different brush for the edges. But look at that. Oh wow. Already looking amazing. And you didn't have to paint anything. That's a great thing about acrylic pouring. It creates such an amazing structure and texture. I love this. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit with water. And now I want to make a falling star which will fall from here down here on the forest which will be down here and that's also quite easy to make. Just take your little brush, this one, and make a little dot where your beautiful falling star will be like maybe like here there will be your falling star and then make its tail like this oh it looks you just make one line and look at that looks like falling star and it's for you this one is created for you and it's falling now so you can make a wish and i hope it will come true make a wish and i wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart i will try just one one little thing i want it to shine so i will make little lines which will be not very visible, but like this. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. And let's just, um, I will just blend it a little bit like that. Now here comes the fun part. I want to make it looking 3D. So I will this time I will use my tape and create my shades of black with these tapes. Let's put these tapes on my canvas. And it's 
the quick way how to make your shades. You don't have to do it by hand if you don't want to. You can make it with this tape. And it's quite easy and quick. So let's start making my 3D edges. I'm gonna use this type of brush and I'm gonna tap it a little bit in water and a little bit in my black. And then start painting my edges with this black. Now it's time to take off my tape. Great. Night sky. Look at that. Oh. And here comes the trees. I start with straight lines using this kind of brush and I put a little bit of black acryl color and let's start Now, I have got this type of brush for painting trees. I'll put it, put this, this end in my black and just like gently make nice tree shapes my little forest is coming to life Magical forest is finished. Now look at the beauty of this painting. I hope you'll be able to paint it too because it's so cool, it's so amazing and it's quite easy to do. I hope I help you to understand how to make such a painting and I wish you good luck with your own beautiful creations thank you so much for watching this video for all your support for letting me create this video for you because if you didn't watch that I wouldn't be able to create these paintings for you so thank you for watching my videos and if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel find me on Instagram or join my Facebook group where you can show me your beautiful paintings. Thank you for every everything and see you soon. Bye!